back to another episode of 7 Days Denial for 18.4. Today we return, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, after our epic triumph of finally over the shotgun messiah just the last episode. But now is the time for us to make our triumphant return to no other place. Because there is no other place like home. Except we're going to make a quick little pit stop over here to a... Oh, the waterworks. Loki... This is a lit location, I'm not gonna lie. But, uh, oh, mm, that really, I just, I really want it. Okay, at the very least, I got a little cheeky thing I could do with that waterworks location. And then we'll spend the nighttime driving on back home because we got a lot of big progress we gotta make. Obviously, day 21 is fast approaching. Every horde continues getting harder so much so that we gotta start installing some defenses. Luckily, this huge expedition has been incredible for our leveling up prowess. We have seven skill points available to us, which is going to be huge for us for example over here in the intelligence area to actually go ahead and learn a few advanced engineering things such as blade traps and hopefully work our way up to even electrical traps and ultimately auto turrets but first things first i want to get over here to trader get wrecked scrub and uh oh do you have any jobs by chance he's got a couple of level threes actually i do wonder if he might be able to give us a job in the direction of home sweet home so we're gonna be looking for a job to the northwest more west northwest i reckon that might be the way that we want to go uh, i'm not really seeing a north uh, i'm not really seeing a west or a northwest so okay uh in that case i'll just take your Look clear zombies job here. right there i'll give you work thank you for the work trade erect but that's but not what i'm here for lie. i want some money and or some good stuff that you may or may not be offering it's a me. So his vault over here doesn't seem to have anything that great unless this hunter's journal. Do more damage to vultures! Oh. Well, vultures are, I mean, once I shoot a vulture, they usually die anyway, but I hate vultures, so I'm definitely tempted by that. Uh, anything else that this guy has, though, that we might want to go and finesse a quick sale of? Like maybe some, uh, mm, do we want any motion sensors? We can maybe pick those up back at home. Nah, there's nothing really that's catching my attention too much here. So that's the main thing I want to pop in for. See if the trader does have anything good. Obviously, I can just go and a lot of this loot that we've got, I can just focus more on actually like selling it home. Because as you might be able to tell, we do have a lot. And I mean a lot of loot. But I don't even want to start selling stuff yet because I'm definitely going to be scrapping a few of this. Because we're going to be needing a lot of parts to bring our base defense systems up to par. However... There is something very nifty that you boys and girls do need to know about. And that's going to be my black star. Why are you hitting this random tree? Oh, let me tell you. Over here at the waterworks location, there's a cheeky little thing you can do. Ho, ho, ho. And it goes like this. Right under this tree is none other than a secret doorway. And this secret doorway leads to a nice little loot stockpile we can uh, sink our teeth into. Let's just make sure we got our lucky goggles on and let's go in a boop 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 Make our way down here. Break our way through these pathetic defenses that they have tried to create for us. And on the other side of this doorway, say hello to my little friend. We gotta deal with a few of these zombies and then we gotta deal with some of the incredible loot that's awaiting us right here. Look and see, look and see, ladies and gentlemen. A hardened chest, a few pretty solid chests besides that. And there might also be, I don't wanna to spend too long here in this. Oh, this guy's kinda of fast. Well, now he's on fire. And headless, so I don't gotta worry about that too much. We are getting a little bit hungry, so honestly, I do wanna go and get into this food stockpile and let's get to chowing down. Because yeah, our food situation, let's start to get a little bit out of hand. Uh, you can probably tell because of how low our stamina was, and I do want to continue. I want, I want to loot a little bit of this location because hello, 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 hello. I do want to loot a little bit of this location because there are a few oh, promising. Oh no, I whiffed that. There are a few promising little areas that we should be able to get into, including none other than a secret stash. Plus, it's a great opportunity for us to get a little bit extra experience while it's still daytime, and then we can use the nighttime to actually travel our way back home. I'm trying to be productive, you know, and I do believe that doing this at the waterworks is uh, pretty productive, if you ask me. Now, y'all may have seen the secret-looking location over there. We're gonna try to make our way into there. No need to worry. First things first, we just gotta deal with a few of these zombies. Ooh. 
Ooh, we're dropping loot. Let's go. We might be able to sell that for a pretty little penny, but check it out. Check it out. Secret compartment, you say? Color me intrigued, Batman. And oh my God, even more loot and lots of money. Exactly what I'm looking for. Now, I don't know if we can like sneak through this, just kind of like parkour through there, but you can see that there's like a little ammo pile. And I don't know if there's anything besides that. I do hear zombies. Oh my God, freaking, ah, the SWAT team's attacking us, zombie edition. It's like that one gif of the freaking just SWAT team rolling up. That's what I feel like is happening to me. I feel personally attacked right now. But yeah, I don't want to like loot up this entire location because it is kind of tedious and it's going to take a little bit of time. But there are a few locations of interest. Like, for example, within these doorways, I do believe that there are zombies we got to worry about. How did I whip your face? Oh no! No, 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 They dead? Okay, they dead. Woo! A little bit of panic set in over there. Let's go and utilize this band-aid. I like how I'm bleeding. I'm just like very calmly like, all right, let's just use this band-aid on our own time. On our own time. Um, we do have a little cardboard box here. Obviously not going to be the best thing, but there are a few good loot opportunities, including actually on top of there, which is where we're going to be trying to get. Uh, but until then, we're not really seeing anything too incredible. What is this? Hello, hello. Secret compartment. How are you doing? Charcoal. Bro, did Christmas come early? Because if so, I got to tell Santa Claus that he's got he's got his list wrong. Okay, not cool, bro. Not cool. But yeah, I do want to go loot up this other little location here. We got about two hours to blow through over here while still continuing to be productive. Usually there's a Zam Zam in here. Bop! There's no more Zambi in there anymore. We do have that, a little bit of the rubbish. You might be like, Star, go back and loot the loot for Pete's sake. I will, I will. Okay, I just got some uh, priorities I want to tend to in the first place. And that is going to involve us uh, crafting up some wooden frames. Because on top of a few of these little things are some pretty cool little things. Uh, first things first, we got to go and bash your brains. And oh, hit me with the pump fakes, I see. Too bad. No pump fix can make you escape your faith and check it, check it. A sealed shipping crate, which is code word for hidden stash. And please tell me there's something good inside of the pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. I am taking my wooden frames back and I'm getting out of here. But anyways, there's one more up here. It's not going to have a hidden stash, but it should have... Something decent, if I'm not mistaken. If I could just poop, squeeze through there. We got a weapons bag inside of the weapons bag. Eh, a few decent things. I'm still trying to find so hard, by the way. I am still trying to find our first pump shotgun. I don't know how. We have yet to find a pump shotgun. Literally, we are almost at day 20, and that thing just evades me. So worst case, we might need to, like, handcraft that. I don't know, because I do want to move up in the shotgun rain world. And back at home, I have a specific weapon mod that I can put on a pump shotgun. Not just our measly little... Eh, let's just start scrapping some of those. Not just our measly little double barrel shotgun over here. So hopefully we can tend to that. Anyways, uh, ammo pile. Let's see what's inside of you. A little bit of ammo. Is that the only good thing inside of there? Because, like, we can't really parkour in here. I, I, I accept that, you know? But, man, there could be some stuff in there. Like... I could always, like, I mean, is there anything besides that? No, it does, doesn't really look like it. So, yeah, just the ammo pile there. All right, well, that's mainly the secret little stuff I wanted to get. I think this leads us to where exactly? Oh, I'm spooked. Oh, that was just, like, the legitimate way of getting to that secret weapon stash. Well, might as well loot this trash pile, you know. When in Rome, you do Roman things. You, you roam around Rome. Yeah. That makes utter sense. But all right. With that, I've looted some of those little, like, side hustles that I wanted to get done. Now it's time for the main course. Oh, yeah, did I mention there's a large ammo stockpile? Well, there's a large ammo stockpile, and oh, we're finding so much ammo. Who would have thunk? Let's go and pick that up. I also might go ahead and actually learn that, because I did not learn that book yet. Might as well. We need to pick the lock into this hardened chest. Hopefully, 
this chest will have something decent in store for us too because these hardened chests like this is the type of stuff you find usually at the end of tricky or hard locations we found uh, we found one at the uh top of the shotgun messiah factory that we were just looting up now it's blowing through our lockpicks like no one's business but we found one over here because we actually took a very cheeky little shortcut uh otherwise this waterworks location is surprisingly tricky like i'm not gonna lie dude just open the chest brother come on now you open the chest why is this chest unopenable ah! bro i'm blowing through lockpicks like no one's business what happened to my lock picking expertise come on i know you want to there we go Oh my goodness gracious. I was about to be like, bro, how you gonna do me like that? Luckily, yeah, we got things all nice and settled. But yeah, look at that nice little pile of loot. This is technically supposed to be at the end, but we found a way to get it at the beginning with minimal effort. And hello, we got some uh, decent looking mods over here. So that is getting scrapped. I'll scrap that. I'll just scrap a lot of the stuff that I don't really need. This iron helmet is intriguing. I might get rid of a few of these things that I'm not really the most keen on i'll get rid of the leather too even though i just scrapped something to get the leather you know i thought maybe i, I don't know listen i'm just i'm blowing through this like no one's business uh junk turret i might go ahead and actually uh scrap that because we could put it into that little pile there and just save a little bit of storage room we got the serrated blade we can put that on to i can't put it on this right okay i didn't think so because there wasn't a blade but just wanted to check i guess can we toss it on the machete that's not really a good machete, though. I will toss it on, uh, not the machete. No, you doofus. I'll go ahead and toss it over here on this hunting knife. Make it a little bit more potent. Might as well there, lads. Uh, anyways, besides that, I'm definitely grabbing the helmet. I do want to grab those two. Uh, I'll get rid of a few of these probably unnecessary things. And hokey dokey, we just got the few of these things i'll just use my freaking sledgehammer to break through them because this thing it's a power hitter honestly can i right click and just like oh my god i forgot trader joel's like technically neighbors with this place that spooked me for a second let's see what's inside of these boxes yeah just the wire tool i'll scrap that because we get some actually some decent iron out of that Ooh, repair kits and we got the bicycle handlebars. Oh, sorry, bro. I'm not. I ain't interested in a bicycle. I have a freaking Jeep outside. The 4x4. I call it a different thing every single episode, you know. It's part of the journey. What's Star going to call his vehicle today? The world may never know. Let me just go ahead and drink up on some of this water. Will that treat us well? I don't know. If I get the poops, I'm going to be upset. Because there is a 3% chance of dysentery striking us like no one's business. And then I'll drink up this goldenrod tea just to really top things off nice and proper and free up a little bit more inventory room as well. Because our pickup truck is entirely full at the moment. Please leave a message after the beep. And eh, I'm not really like too keen on either of those. And Trader Joe's is closed and it is our time to shine. Oh my god. There is like no visibility here. Well, ain't that unfortunate. Well, it looks like, you know, a uh, freaking horror scene out here, like a murder movie. I'm about to get murdered. Honestly, the water works, bro. I'm just saying a water a water plant. That sounds like a good horror movie set if you ask me. So good thing we got out of Dodge just in the nick of time. Let's actually go. I do want to turn on our own flashlight on top of this flashlight. Before double the light. Does it actually double the light? I don't know. Ooh. Do I have enough gas to make our way back home? I'm not sure. Oh, my God. Bro, even in my Jeep, the vultures keep dive bombing us. They're gonna do this. They're gonna do this to us. But, uh, whatchamacall? We are gonna be making our way now back home. And we're gonna be doing it in an interesting route. We're gonna be cutting through uncharted territory. Because we got here by going south and then east from our base. We are gonna be taking a bit more of a northwestern route when visibility is literally. Ow! Negative! And I'm running into the hills somehow. Oh, is that a river? Well, um, most unfortunate. Okay, no, it's not a river, but it is a body of water that we just got to circumnavigate. Uh, at least I think it's circumnavigatable. Oh, lordy. Bro, don't tell me I'm about to get my Jeep stuck. It's a very suspicious location. I would just, I just want to get away from the river. The river is not where I want to be right now. I got to get up on this hill. So, yeah. <laughs> we get the joy of trying not to drown our Jeep. Well, we try to make our way home and hopefully not run out of gas. Because I think I got gas in our Jeep, but, you know, I don't want to check. 
Where's the fun in that? Exactly. But yeah, hopefully everyone's having an absolutely incredible day of the most amazing variety. That only keeps on getting better from here on out, whether that be from the video, bringing you a smile, bringing you a giggle, anything, or ow, everything like that. Does not matter to me how a little bit of joy can go ahead and make its way into your day today. I'm just crossing my fingers that, uh, indeedly do. It does. I've been doing pretty, actually, okay today. I don't know. Like, it's a solid day, obviously. Gonna be live streaming a little bit later. Always looking forward to that. If y'all don't know, we do live stream over on dlab.tv slash the star snipe every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern time, which would be 5 p.m. Pacific time and probably a variety of different time zones for anyone who is not over in like the Americas. Cause that's like some of the main, like bigger, more well-known time zones. But uh, yeah, we are live every Monday, Wednesday, Friday today, at least when I'm recording this and uploading this is Monday. So, oh, is that the river or just some grass? I can't tell. So yeah, we're gonna be playing that over there. It's been a ton of fun. Thank you to everyone who has been showing out to the streams, and hopefully I can see some new faces over there, because I love having a chill. Dude, come on, get run over, bro. Get run over, bro. There we go. Okay, he did not get run over, but he got out of the way. But it's been just, it's been super chill having a chill time over there. What is that noise? Am I like just constantly bumping into the ground? But it's been fun having a good time over there. We actually have our own dedicated seven days to die streaming world that we're having some fun with. Boop! So if y'all want some more 7 Days to Die, that's another thing we're doing over there. Some Fallout 76, some Last Day on Earth, depending on the day. And sometimes we even mix in uh, some more new games on top of that. So definitely some jolly times to be had there. Hopefully I see y'all, but obviously on top of the streams, it's a fun time. Link at the top of the description. Uh, besides that, though, today's going to be a busy day for me. I got so much homework because finals week is coming up for me. And uh, just making sure I can... I am still making our way the right way. Okay. But yeah, finals week is coming up for me, so, uh, yeah, that's terrifying. I, I got that to look forward to, and another part of looking forward to it is I got a whole bunch of homework due. And apparently every class that I'm in is like, you know, this Monday on the calendar seems like a magnificent day. The best day, a day like we've never seen before to have some homework due on. So yeah, I gotta wrap up a little bit of that. But besides that, it's been pretty jolly. Enjoyed a nice cup of joe when I woke up. You might be like, oh my god, Star, why are you telling me your life story? I don't know, dude. It was some nice coffee. I found some nice cinnamon creamer the other day. It's been delicious. There you go. There's your peek into my life. I found some good cinnamon creamer. I'm back to the seven days. But nah. Speaking of, like, some other stuff we've been doing, obviously, apologies for a little bit of a wait in between seven days to die episodes. It's been kind of crazy because seven days to die, not seven days to die, the other game with day in it. Last day on Earth Survival. It did actually drop a brand new update just a few days ago, so I've been covering the bejesus out of that. And is this our town we're rolling up on? Or it is okay, and we're about to be home. Honestly, we could take this as an opportunity as we continue our off-roading. I think there's an airdrop up there, if I'm not mistaken. We could go and hit that thing up. I know our inventory is pretty full, but uh, who cares? Airdrop. It is nighttime anyway. All that we would do is really be... Yeah, let's go do this. And then we'll still have plenty of time to spare. We'll go home. We'll start figuring out what skills we want to assign and start building up our defenses and, well, more advanced electrical base defense system. But, uh, yeah, besides... Ooh, hardware store. Ah, nah, it's nighttime. I'm not trying to loot up a hardware store right now. It's tempting, but let's just go. Let's keep things simple, especially before I run out, run out of gas. Actually, before I do go too far... Let's make sure that I do have some gas. Right, I, I do. Okay, I got like 85 gas. Okay. So maybe. I don't know, like I went pretty far on not a lot. No, I'm not trying to get stranded. Okay, we'll go back home for the time being. We used up our gas stockpile just like, like nobody's business on this huge expedition we've been on. But bless up because the Jeep is a gas freaking tank. Literally, like, it has a literal tank, but it's like a tank of a gas tank, if that makes meta metaphorical sense. Um, ho hopefully, you, you know what I'm getting at. But yeah, it's, it's good. It's good. So we can store quite a lot in it. So it did blow through all of our gas, but we did have quite the large journey, to be fair. So now it's going to be a question of... I mean... Why don't we see if we can't find some gas at this location? I think I saw a few, uh, a few barrels over there. Before we do that, though, really quick, I might be able to actually stack some things. There you go, and save up on a little bit of inventory room here. Dude, we got a lot of money to sell. That sentence makes no sense if you don't understand seven days to die, but we do have a lot of money to sell. Uh, we got the little bit of ammo there. Actually, I should be able to stack that ammo, and all right. 
Nice, 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 dude. Is this thing silenced? Is this my silenced gun? Yes, it is. Beautiful. Extended mag and silencer. Because there are going to be some of these barrels. And I know for a fact that these do have gas. There you go. You love to see it. So I kind of want to investigate this a little bit. And hopefully find some more gas. Oh, spiders on me! Oh my god, that thing turned the corner like no one's business! That spooked me! And now you see why I'm terrified of horror games. A sudden zombie simply appearing and I'm freaking up! Open my pants, dude! Die! You dead yet? Please die faster, I don't like this. Oh my god, dude, freaking... Talk about Mach 5 speed! I think that was a feral zombie too, she gave a lot of experience. Another thing, we can get some bonus experience. Hopefully I find a clean pair of pants along the way too. May or may not be in need of those. Uh, hello, let's take you out before you get the opportunity to go up. Bro, how are you not dead? There we go, there we go. I got another book over here. Let's read it. My shotguns lose durability 20% slower. Let's go. That's actually a big pickup. I'm terrified of that room. This just looks like a murder scene. Um, anyone pooping? No, but I... Oh, oh, it's a big boy. It's a big lad. Luckily, I got a big hammer for the big boy over here. Whew. But yeah, on top of that, you know, apologies for the wait in between seven days and nine episodes as I am pooping my pants a little bit. I do sincerely apologize about that, but it's been a little bit crazy with this last day on Earth update that I was talking about. It's been a pretty huge one, and whenever a new update comes out, it's just, it's just like, I just, I just die. I dive head first into it. I mean, same thing with other games, though. Like, I can't wait for seven days to die alpha 19 to come out, because that's when, eh, probably daily episodes of seven days coming out. And, I mean, it's been in the works for a while at this point, right? Did you forget how to climb ladders, dude? Come on, there we go. Okay, we got a zombie over here. Oh, no. Okay. I was running a little bit low on durability there. Or on stamina, I should say. But it's okay. He ran low on life. So we buffed out. Now, I did see something over there we could pick up. I'm not seeing more gas. Like, we did get a little bit, but I was holding out for a little bit more. We're getting a little bit hungry as well, but on top of that, we've been checking out some pretty cool games on the channel. We did just start a little bit of a Zompiercer playthrough. That was, was like a little, ooh, guess? Let's go! A little bit of a Zompiercer playthrough on the channel, and that was actually a pretty cool game so far. I think we might be... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's a hard... Ah! Actually, I don't know if that's a horde, but it's definitely zombies. So yeah, I'm pooping my pants a little bit. I'm gonna stay here in the rafters. I like the rafters. It's chill. It's a chill place. I'm gonna try to use this opportunity to pick up this sealed crate over here. There's a roof that we might be able to access too. But uh, yeah, let's definitely pick this thing up. Don't mind me just hiding in the freaking rafters. I'm not trying to be on the ground right now. Okay, because I just don't know how big that horde's gonna be. And that terrifies me. Now, there might be something on the roof. It better not be vultures, by the way. That's not the answer I'm looking for. I need to get some food in my belly. So we definitely do need to make our way back home at the kind of soonish pace. Hello, vultures? Come out, come out wherever you are. Okay, no vultures. We might be able to get a good view of these zombies and take them out from above, though. Which, honestly, might be the best benefit out of this all. So let's go and do that. Reload our SMG and get to it. But yeah, we've been obviously keeping our eyes peeled like we always do for some new survival games. And Zompiers has been a pretty cool one. So if y'all have not given it that a chance yet, I definitely recommend it. It's got a pretty cool premise between like instead of traditional bop, bop, die please. Instead of like traditional base building, you're actually kind of like building a base on a train. And your train's kind of like your mobile fortress. And it can like literally like, it moves along the train tracks, which does run through several cities where you actually go and loot up and build. It's, it's really cool. If y'all like seven days, definitely give that a look if you haven't already. I think we might be trying to sprinkle some of that in, and of course, our Withstand Survival series. And honestly, a lot of these series are getting juicy right about now. It's a good time to be a part of them all, because in our 7 Days to Die series here, bro, our defenses are about to get juiced, I'm telling you. Because, uh, I mean, we could take this opportunity. What? Okay, you know, we're chilling in the ceiling. Who knows? You know, we're playing it safe. Maybe more people are about to roll up. You never know. So I'm going to continue chilling up here as we figure out exactly... What do we want to do? So the good news is that these nerdy glasses do give us plus one. Right? The nerdy glasses do give us plus one. No, not that. Okay, hold up. Plus one to intellect, right? So, big ups to that. Because what that allows us to do is take a little bit of a shortcut here to getting our next perk. The advanced engineering perk does require intellect level six. That's kind of expensive, but we get a little bit of a discount. 
thanks to this. Now we can actually get the next level of advanced engineering, which now has put us into the position where we gain 20% experience from electrical trap kills. We can uh, build advanced base defense systems, such as electric fences and blade traps. Y'all can see in that little like text blurb at the top. Blade traps are the big one in this. And at level eight, we get the inventor perk. Which unfortunately, actually it lets us craft shotgun turrets specifically. Ooh. Does shotgun turrets require double barrel or pump actions? Because if it's a double barrel, bro, that thing is not getting crafted. Shotgun turret. Okay, I'm not, I, I'm just, okay, I'm just going to type in turret. Uh, shotgun auto turret. There we go. So yeah, it doesn't exactly tell us. And that looks like it might be a pump shotgun. So if it is a pump shotgun that it needs, that does put us in a bit of a tricky situation. Because like... Bro, I just, I, I still have yet to find one of these. I don't have the recipe for it. I like, I, I, I can't. I literally cannot create the pump shock and I haven't found it. Hopefully they do start showing up at some point here. So I don't really want to invest more yet. Or because like it is going to take two. Ah, eh, we could though. It's going to take two points. And then one more point over here into advanced engineering. And we can get that. Mm. And obviously it is a stepping stone towards the advanced engineer perk over there, but uh mm -hmm -hmm. Turret syndrome. So that's just about junk turrets more specifically. That's stun batons. Mm. Obviously, I'm pretty tempted over here by our machine gunner perk because uh we might be able to craft some incredible guns with the help of this. I'm still not sure if the final level lets us craft level six. Or not, but each shot scored actually will give us stamina as we do kill, which is kind of crazy. Uh, faster fire rates, doing more damage. We obviously do have a very powerful machine gun that we use. That we used it just during the last horde. So I'm a little bit tempted off picking that. We get a little bit of the healing factor over here. So we slowly gain HP. Just a little bit. Shotgun rain perks. I like those too. Pack mule for more inventory room. Like, definitely lots of interesting ones here, but... Uh, uh, why don't we... Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Let's go a little bit more into the machine gunner perks. That's gonna require fortitude level 7. So that's gonna take bop, bop, and then bop. So the rest of our investments went into that, but we have officially learned the art of creating blade traps, and that's exactly what we are gonna be doing, right? Like, we do have everything we need to create the blade traps. Okay, beautiful. So when we make our way back home, we should be able to craft those. But uh, let's go loot up the rest of this. Oh, baby. That's not too shabby. We should be able to repair this actually for a pretty decent buck. We got so many repair kits, by the way. A little side note, but we should be able to repair this for a pretty so and sell it for a pretty solid penny. It just went from 149 bucks to 453. That's a good deal if you ask me. Um, mm -mm -mm. Any other must loots over here? There's this engine. Which does look like it should be lootable, but it's not. Plot twist. I know, right? Uh, I could go ahead and just scrap that. Get a little bit of stuff. We got another doorway here. Obviously not the biggest location, but we did pick up a little bit of gas. And I found a few other nifty, you know, doodads and trinkets here and there. But all right. Enough of that. Unless there's like a secret freaking bunker down here, no? I'm always suspicious of these little sheds. I, the amount of secret underground bunkers that they've led to that I've found, suspiciously high. Anyways, uh, let's go and definitely just give you all the gas I got because you are my go-to vehicle, 4x4. I love you like nothing else, Mr. Truck. And let's make our way back on home. Man, I'm just spoiled using this thing over the mini bike nowadays. This makes travel so much easier. But yeah. We do need to figure out the gas situation somewhat. Oh, oh, I barely missed that guy. I was trying to run him over. We definitely got to kind of solidify the gas situation a little bit. And I do want to start building a more advanced base defenses in general. Hello. Goodbye. Including like cement walls. Because the wood walls have been doing okay. But they're not going to be doing okay much longer. It's only going to get harder and harder. Entirely new types of zombies. I believe like freaking building destroyer type zombies are going to start showing up at a certain point. Like things get terrifying. Also, I'm going to use this as an opportunity to you know, just, you know, budget light. Might as well. Like hopefully my car doesn't, its car battery doesn't run out. I don't think it does, but hopefully it doesn't. Let's go and just clog that up. Obviously we're going to have to repair these walls, but I do want to actually build another layer of walls outside of this and... 
start getting a little bit more fancy with our base defense system, you know? Maybe even, uh, maybe I'll even install like a wooden floor over here. Start making rooms like, oh, I got a lot of creativity flowing. And all these adventures are going to help enable our creativity to uh, be creative. Actually, do I have, let's use the ranch over here. Uh, what? Oh, did they, I forgot they changed it. I don't think the wrench actually does repairs anymore. A little bit heartbreaking, but it is daytime. We're back in the wonderful place known as home. And we got blade traps on our mind. Yeah, they ain't going to be cheap. It's going to take steel. It's going to take iron. Luckily, we brought back some iron to smelt down. I think maybe we brought back like some bars and stuff too. And then we should still have a good chunk of mechanical parts, electrical parts. And it does take a lot of oil. But uh, we got an okay supply of that. We might need to go and strike up a couple of deals with Trader Joel nearby. But all in all, the pieces are coming together. And for once... We got a couple of days till this thing strikes, and I really want to focus up on base building right now. I really do want to make this thing beautiful. And speaking of which, ooh. Does this Joe have a cement mixer I'm just going to be able to use? Maybe I'll run over there. Yeah, so I mean, just for a quick tally for some of the big components we got to worry about. Electrical parts, 43. Mechanical, 21. Oil, 28. Obviously, we'll go and double check with our uh, other, the, 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 the truck and see what that has, but... Looks like we might be able to whip up at least two blade traps. So depending on how our truck supplies are looking. Also, I do want to check if there's a cement mixer because I do want to start mixing up some cement. And I'll show y'all why exactly. Actually, let me just go and grab a little bit of a hammer because we m we are going to need to actually upgrade some of our walls, right? Um, so if you'll excuse me. Where are you at, you freaking? There you go. There's the hammer. I do hear a zombie up above. I kind of put all my weapons away just for the sake of, like, kind of organizing stuff. Um, so, yeah, we'll do that at some point. Zombie, do I need to run you over with my freaking Jeep, dude? Okay, I'm just going to bash your brains in. Is that cool? I hope so. It's all I got. I didn't feel like grabbing anything else. I'm sorry. Die, zombie, die. Eat a hammer. It's hammer time. Your head is gone. And all right, Jeep. Um... Why don't we go and tally up what you got on the lickety split in terms of some of these more valuables. Things that I vividly remember we need. Obviously, iron. These things are going to be good for electricity, obviously. Also, I'll bring some nuggets and some of those kind of like things we can definitely 100% do want to sell. Um, Did we not really grab a lot of oil, did we? I definitely thought we might have found a little bit there, but I suppose I may have been mistaken. Um, so yeah, our work might be cut out for us for a little bit. It looks like, uh, we might need to pick up some supplies here and there. Mainly, actually, I mean, if we just take a wrench, we should be able to get a lot of, of those supplies, either from cars or just, like, electrical stuff, like terminals, like, actually within our own basement, TVs, like, there's a nice variety of stuff. So I don't think we're too out of luck there. Marvelous! Definitely wasn't waiting out here for too long. Don't know what you're talking about. Is this one of the locations? I forget, because I've been to so many Trader Joel locations. Does he have... Yes! He's got it in dark lads. Beautiful. So we ought to be able to either create asphalt, or we could use concrete mix, I believe, to upgrade some of our blocks, such as wood frames. Eventually, I believe, do use concrete mix as part of their upgrades. So we're going to be able to use a combination of crushed sand, small stone, and cement to actually mix that thing right up. Well, 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 well. You love to hear it. I think we can make cement from, like, our furnace, if I'm not mistaken. So, what's up, my How dude? Are you? How you been? Not too shabby. How about you? All right, so he's like, I'm still in the middle of doing a job for him, if I'm not mistaken. That's a nice helmet. It cost $10,000, but that's a nice helmet. Oh, wee. Oh, wee wowza. You son of a gun. I kind of want to be in, but at the same time, that's a very expensive thing to be in. Uh, besides that, though, he's not really selling anything too interesting. Fair Joel's a little bit disappointing today. Nothing even that good over here in the secret stash area. Uh, I guess there is the Pistol Pete Volume 2. Ooh. Turn your enemy's knees into Swiss cheese. <laughs> I like what that's about. Each successive leg shot. Eh, I usually aim for the head, so probably not. Chili dogs? Looks delicious, but I will need to pass for now. Dang, Joel. 
A little bit disappointed today. Speaking of which, I also did just realize that I kind of made a boo-boo earlier in this episode. Probably already been yelled at for it, but I do think that there were a couple of recipe books with this, like, open symbol, which means we've already learned it. I think I accidentally learned them again. Well, there's always Definitely the road. bit of a brain fart there. Uh, I apologize because I think I did that. And I think that I've already been yelled at it in the comments. But if you haven't yelled at me yet, hey, thank you. I appreciate you. And if you have, hey, I, I get it. I pulled a derp. I did a dingus. And we do also have our mini bike parked over here, which, if I recall, is actually stranded due to gas reasons. Yes, it is. I mean, we can slowly just... Choo-choo! We can slowly tut along. Oh, we're getting some speed. I think we're going slightly downhill. Look at that. He's picking up the pace like no one's business. Okay, the pace is getting picked down now. It's it's slowing down to a near crawl. I will continue this uphill battle, quite literally, in trying to get our beloved mini bike home. Mainly for decorative purposes, because we got that truck now. But uh, as I do that, that's going to go to start for an end to this episode of 7 Days to Die Alpha 18.4. Thank you guys for holding for watching. Have an awesome one. I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.